Welcome back guys. In the previous video, we are successfully able to set our token in the application, right? This, uh, we are able to set this in our local storage and this one is our token, right? But we are facing some issues uh, during setting our is authenticated state. So now let's work on that. So here I'm checking my state and then returning this uh, and committing this out and set and uh, modifying it to uh, state to uh, and updating this variable but let's think about this that we are now logging in right so we are logging in so it means that we are unauthenticated right so how this will return true because it's getting the status first and then returning us so if we are not logged in so how this will return us a true response so for this we need to pass here by default true here like this so we need to pass this true don't need to get a value any from any of uh, from there because we are logging in so whenever we are logging in we want to set our status true right so it's mean that we are logged in and then whenever we are getting that we are logged in or not then we will made request to api slash authenticated so check that we are logged in or not so at that time, we need to set this uh, status true, something like this, check user authentication status, and then just go here. And here I'm going to get this parameter here status, right? And then I'm not going to get this status from here. And I'm not going to send the API calls anymore here, right? So maybe we can uh, create another, uh, yeah, let me create another, Another one for this uh, later on, if we want to check that our user is logged in or not, so we'll send this request, right? But at the login time, we don't need this. So here I'm going to make this clone, right? So let me add the space and here too. Okay, I pasted this out and I don't need this uh, Exio stuff. I'm committing this and I need to update this out too. So, uh, we can say that uh, um, update user update authentication status something like this and I need to call this same here in my view right so basically I'm calling now this one right and if I go here so now this will hit this right and here I'm getting the status right which i'm passing to from the login view and then i'm going to say now i need to commit this right so just to commit and what you want to commit i want to say that uh, uh, what should i name this commit because i name this uh, same so we can say that set auth maybe set auth okay and then here i'm going to also say that set auth right so it's more descriptive and it's also solving our issue that we are naming this uh, name update or i can say update auth token uh, auth, not token update auth status right status and after that what status i want to send i want to send this status to right okay after the commit I want to accept this here uh, in the mutation so it will get the state state and the status right and then I want to update the state dot is authenticated equal the whatever the status I'm getting it from there okay and here uh, if you will get the status so then we need the status right so let's say here we are getting the status yes we need this status but at that time we are not using this out right so i'm just commenting this out for uh, removing the burden from you that what what's the functionality of this function okay and here i need to add the comma so now this will update this is authenticated states to whatever status it's getting okay and now i want to uh, let's say here I'm calling this uh, uh, set dispatch event and then it's working fine. Okay, now just test this that is it working fine or not. 
so here before this uh, I want to set here the console dot log I want to first say that to uh, status status is space so whatever the status it is right or I can say that to uh, this dot is authenticated right so whatever the value this variable is okay just save this one and here let's say or uh, maybe this will not get this uh, is authenticated because we can get those uh, states using getters right so i'm going to print this status whatever i'm getting this from uh, from this commit okay just go here click on this login fill the form and just to uh, click on this login login and uh, updating token status uh, status is true so it means that now our is authenticated is returning true right so good job good job guys and now our is authenticated is true and i want to get this state in the dashboard and other routes right so let's say in the dashboard whenever uh, here not in the dashboard i'm basically you can check this in any of the component i'm going to this app dot view component why because this one is rendering this dashboard login and register so whenever my user is logged in i don't want to display the login and register just want to display the dashboard so here in this template we are doing nothing right so here I'm going to say that if I'm logged in, I don't want to display those uh, display those button. In the script tag, I'm going to get the state of my authentication, right? I'm setting this is authenticated state where I'm going to get this. And we can get this using three methods. So I'm going to uh, try to uh, share all possible ways. So here I'm going to say export defaults export default and i'm going to create a computed property and then get my state there as i told you that whenever you are getting your state you need to call this into the computed property right otherwise you can use the getters or you can use the map getters so here i'm going to say computed and then in the computed property i want to get is authenticated is authenticated so here I'm going to return uh, this dot dollar store. I'm calling my store. And after that store, I want to call my state store dot state. And then I want to call the is authenticated state, right? Uh, which I defined here, this one in the state, I define this is authenticated. So I'm calling this state. Okay, perfect after this um, now this one will call this state and i want to make the decision based on this state so if my state is set to so here i'm going to uh, say v if as uh, we do normally if in our blades so it's uh, similar as this in the view we need to add this uh, v if to bind this with this router so here I pass this is authenticated. So if this one returned true, then show this dashboard. Okay, just give it a save and test this out. And yes, if I now give it a refresh, so it will lose the state, right? So then this option will not be visible anymore. So let's get refresh. And yes, dashboard is gone, right? If I go back here, I'm going to now log in one more time, right? So let's click on this login. And yes, we are now able to see this dashboard. If I visit other routes, it will not be lost, right? So whenever we are refreshing our web page, our view state is lost. Uh, we don't need to uh, set this that whenever we are refreshing our web page because in the view world, we are not refreshing our web page, right? So we work without page refresh. So that's the uh, beauty of Vue.js. And if you want to also implement that, uh, sometimes you need a refresh. So you can still set your state whenever you are loading 
your component like in uh, app component is a parent component of all components right so you can set your state to, uh, by getting the user login status and then set it state is it authenticated or not so i'll try to teach this one to you and then here let's work on this so login and register if i'm logged in i don't want to display those button so let's go here and let's say v if or you can also use v show which is also used to uh, render the dom but uh, add the style of style none right but v if not uh, not render the dom too so here i'm going to say negation is authenticated right if it's not authenticated then show them otherwise not v if not authenticated save this one and let's see the magic and yes login and register is gone right because i'm logged in my state is set if i give it a refresh so it will lost the state give it a refresh and yes i'm able to see only login and register button right so just to login this out and yes i'm logged in and i'm able to only see this dashboard right so this is a, a beauty of this um, state I'm getting this state and whenever I will. Now let's uh, work on the other ways how we can get our authenticated state. So let's comment on this one, uh, comment on this and uh, let's say here in the getters, I want to set a getter and then get its state. So here I can say user or authentication status. Okay, and here you need to get this using state state dot is authenticated so now i'm getting the is authenticated um, from this state and then passing this to this getter so how i can call this getter in similar way i can call this a return this return this dot dollar store dot getters now i will call the getters and after that getter i will call my getters just save this one here and let's see i'm now getting different result because i think i have refreshed my web page so let's say click on this login and no i'm not getting the state i'm getting a warning here uh, let's see unauthenticated returning the token but it's not authenticating my user uh, is authenticated I say this dot to store dot getters getters and then I define auth status. Oh my god, I said differently auth status. So just save this one here and yes, it's got back now, right? So I'm successfully able to get this again back. So this is the second way how you can get your values and Vuex suggest you to use this getters whenever you are getting this value or use this so uh, is authenticated uh, or use this in the computed property get the state like this so then this will work and there is a third way how you can get your uh, authenticated state uh, which is uh, here you can import the map getters import map getters Oh my god map getters right from vuex right because we are utilizing this vuex and here in the authenticated i want to say uh, dot map oops map getter and here i want to say what i want to get let me comment this out and here what i want to get so first would be the key so i want to get the is authenticated right and now what would be my getter value right so this will this authenticated state so this uh, authenticated uh, state just save this one here and i'm getting the same if i give it a refresh and let's say Oh my god my where is my application so it's throwing some error all status is not defined 
ah okay i need to define something like this so let's uh, get refresh here yes we are back let me log in my user again back let's click on this login and yes i'm getting the dashboard and if i go here and just comment this out save this one and yes you will see that i'm getting login and register and if i go here and enable this again so it's now uh, um, ask uh, telling us that um we are locked in right so these are three ways to get your authentication state using map getters using um, a direct state using computed property and then you can call this getters directly here in the computed property so hope you like hold the course and uh, if you think that this course added some value into your life make sure to share your feedback so it will help other to understand that this course is worth worth for right so thank you so much for watching the video and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye